In the last episode we created some dummy data, we seeded our database so that in this episode we can create a search functionality for our website. This search functionality is going to search our static pages and also it's going to search our plugin, so specifically our movie plugin and the movies that we entered. So we just have a search box in which we enter uh, some keywords and uh, then we can search our website via those keywords. So to create search functionality for our website, we are not going to do it by hand specifically, but we are going to use plugin called site search because of course you could do that in October by yourself, but since we already got this great plugin, uh, we can uh, actually search by it. So we don't want to code anything ourselves uh, because this plugin already searches your static pages if you want and it has a great API for setting up the search for your plugins. So specifically in our case it's going to be a movie plugin so that we can search our movies. Okay, so we are going to go to October CMS settings, plugins, updates and plugins, and then we are going to install a plug plugin called Site Search. So as you can see, this plugin installed successfully. First thing we need to do, we need to go to Site Search and enable this CMS pages. So CMS pages, click here. Uh, as you can see, it's experimental feature, but we don't uh, care about that pretty mu uh, very much because it actually, I already tested it and it works okay. So I'm going to click on and click save. And now uh, we can go to our CMS. And first of all, we need to add another page which is going to be our search page. So whenever uh, someone searches your site, it's going to take him to that page and show the search results. So I'm going to add a new page. Of course, the layout is going to be default. The new page title is going to be search. Uh, and I think that's about it. Actually, it's not. Uh, we have to go to components and then to go to site search and uh, we just add this site search results right here so that we have component search results. Okay, we save that. And now if we check out the documentation for a site search, you can see that you have this search form. Of course, you can style it however you want and you can put it wherever you want, but I'm going to put it just on my homepage. So I'm going to go to themes, Olympus, uh, pages, homepage. Of course, the better place for this would be somewhere in the header uh, so that it's always visible on your site, but I didn't want to uh, mess around with the styling of the site. So I'm just going to put it on the homepage for now and later maybe we can put it somewhere in the header or somewhere like that or maybe create a button that will open up a search and so on. So you just copy that, so it's a standard form and it's going to look for a search page, which we called search. So you pretty much don't have to change anything. If we save this and go to our home page, as you can see, we now have a search page right here. So uh, now let's try to search some pages. Remember this doesn't, to work for movies just yet, but it should uh, work for some other type of content that you may have on your site. If you go to settings right here, you can see that site search already comes with a RainLab blog. So for blog plugin, pages plugin, indicator news, uh, Octoshop, uh, Jiri, Radiant Web and so on. So these are the plugins for October, which uh, this plugin works for immediately. Uh, but uh, since we still didn't set up our movies plugin to work with uh, search, we're going to try to search a page. But of course you can't search every page uh, right away, as you can see right here. Uh, before you can do that, you can you have to go to CMS 
and go to uh, we are going to for this example search only our home page so I'm going to go to home page and uh, go to components and then you uh, add this component right here include inside search so you have to add this to every CMS page if you want that page to be searchable so in our case our home page is going to be searchable and I'm just going to include that right here okay so you put it here not down there where I put it okay we save this now and if I go to my home page so this is our home page yeah yay let's try to search for yay and as you can see we get home page uh, you get some not so very good styling out of the box and as you can see this is the word yay that we uh, we're searching for so this searches our home page and also if you have some other pages uh, like let's see contact so we have this contact page but we can add some text to it so let's go to pages contact and let's just add some text right here save this and of course add a component of include inside search right here save it and if I search for word awesome click search now you get the contact page so this is how this search works for your static pages as I said before uh, site search comes with support for some other uh, October plugins but in most cases you will have your own plugins which you need to search through so I'm going to show you now how you can search through a movies plugin and find the movies you want so to create a search for your plugin your custom plugin you should just go through this documentation it's not very long and it's very comprehensible in fact I'm going to go right here and as you can see you have an example uh, for searching through your custom plugins in this example it's called documents so I'm just going to copy all of this code and then uh, you go to watch learn movies plugin.php and in the boot method so this is in the method boot uh, you, co uh, you call this event handler uh, which is going to search for offline site search query and then first of all you have to define your model so uh, since we are using this namespace right here uh, we should just write models movie and that's it uh, now we are not searching for a title or content uh, because we don't have those fields in our database or our table uh, we are instead of that if we go to our builder plugin and go to movies we have name and description for our movie so uh, we are going to change that to name and description uh, next thing we need to do we need to uh, set this return array so this is what this plugin is going to return to us so first of all title is name and the text is description uh, the URL is going to be movies movies movie item slug so this is the slug of our movie uh, for now I'm just going to comment this thumbnail out and uh, also this provider is actually the badge for the type of content that you're searching for so in our case it's going to be movie okay so this is the badge if we save this go to our home page and since we seeded our database with mostly lorem ipsum text let's try to search for lorem and as you can see we have this badge right here that says that this is a movie and it's searching through all of our movies if we go to a second page we should 
C page right here. So we have lorem also on our home page. So this is the page for the movie. And as you can see, we get the title of the movie, the description, uh, you get all the text highlighted right here. Uh, you should, of course, change the CSS of it. Uh, in fact, on this uh, documentation page, it says that you should uh, change uh, the uh, styling of your search uh, page. And also you can change the markup of your search page, which is something somewhere right here. So to overwrite the default markup, copy all files from plugins offline site search components to your theme, your theme partial search results, and then you can modify them there. Okay, so now we search for our movies and as you can see, this works very quickly. But uh, as I said, we commented out this thumbnail right here. So if I remove that comment, and uh, remember our images are not called images, but a poster. So the poster for the movie. So we should change this to poster. Save it. And now if we look for actually search for Inception movie, let's see what we get. So we get that same result, but we also get a thumbnail. The problem is when you search for uh, for a movie that doesn't have a poster, which is most of our movies. So if I write lorem again, we get this error because this plugin expects this thumbnail uh, to be instance of system model file. So to get around that, uh, we are going to create two different uh, return arrays. So the first one is going to return our thumbnail if it exists. And if it doesn't exist, it's going to return an array without the thumbnail. So to do that, you just do and save this. So what I said right here, if the movie has a poster, then return this, else return that same array just without the thumbnail. And now if we refresh this page, this should work. As you can see, lorem, 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 lorem. But if I go to the second page, you can see that uh, this movie uh, also has a poster, so it shows it. And this movie Inception also has a poster and it shows that. And it also has a word lorem in it. So it will mix and match and show, show you the results with thumbnails and without thumbnails however you want. As you can see, creating search for your website using the site search plugin is pretty easy. So this has been it for this episode. Remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you want to ask me questions, you can follow me on Facebook or on Twitter. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you like this video and maybe subscribe to my channel if you like the content I put out. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.